The environmental group here, which has been vocal, got involved with the Mills Fleet Farm Hermitown soon in the project. Um, we started working soon after Mills decided to purchase the property and move ahead with uh, placing a store there. So I started going to meetings with uh, Bruce Buxton over in Hermantown to uh, work on getting the permits, uh, wetland permits, because there was wetlands on the property. We knew we needed to preserve some of the wetlands as much as we could, but uh, the city also wanted to bring a road through the north end and, and there was wetlands there. They had done some, some wetland permitting in the past nearby. So we decided to move ahead. Mills took um, responsibility for the entire permit for the city and for, for uh, Mills Fleet Farm development. Mills Fleet Farm then bought the wetlands from a wetland bank by Two Harbors called the Zymet Wetland Bank where he restored some wetlands for permitting process. The Corps of Engineer rules required us to go to Two Harbors within the, the same watershed area that the, the uh, Hermantown project was. Once the owners decided that the Hermantown site was one that was suitable for a new facility, they contacted the WSN survey group and we mobilized our crews and performed our preliminary analysis of the legal descriptions in order to identify any potential issues with the site. Some of the details of the field survey uh, included location of existing utilities, existing roadways, existing uh, encumbrances and access issues. Um, we took that information and processed it in the office and created an Alta survey of the property prior to the final purchase. Once the construction process begins, our crews start by staking clearing limits and removals. Once that can be completed, the crews are out there staking grading and building construction. For a period of six to 10 months, our crews are on site staking two days a week, everything from underground utilities building construction, site utilities, curb and gutter, parking lots, just about anything you can think of, they're there to stake. This is our main building, building pad, and uh, we're currently cutting, cutting some excess material um, to establish building grade. Um, in the middle here. Um, behind me here you can see they're, they're uh, cutting footings for, for the precast panels and, and uh, they're fighting some of the water that we have. We have some water issues with the spring on this side right behind me. On the far side we got um, our concrete contractor is pouring footings um, as well as column pads and, and uh, starting to get ready for, for precast in a month here. We, got, we have a lot of utilities we're installing in this project. Um, a lot of storm pipe, as you can see. Uh, currently, we're installing a structure down on this, the uh, east end of the project. That's a 40-20 manhole structure, 96 inch inside diameter. And uh, right now, they're, they laid the first two pipes on this run at 0.04%. And what's going on is they have a foundation material, an inch and a half rock, sand on both sides of the pipe compacted so the pipe doesn't want to move laterally or vertically. And uh, we're set to go on this next run now. It takes a little time when you're at a manhole, getting the laser beam all set up for a lining grade. The site is, is roughly 40 acres in size. Another challenge for the site is that it's roughly 70 feet in elevation change from west to east on this, um, which isn't such a bad thing when the site is sitting empty, but we need to take up a fair sized chunk of that site and make it flat. Uh, store needs to be flat, parking lot needs to be fairly flat so that people can walk and drive on it. To make our site from a, from a hill into a usable space for a store, we've had to move a great deal of dirt from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill. Here we have four or five more feet to bring in. Part of our project is to reconstruct Westburg Road on this side of the hill. A good deal of the dirt from that road that we're taking is going down into this parking lot. 
We've designed the site and the two roadways such that there is no needed import or export of, of material from the site. The feature behind me is a stormwater pond that's being created to handle the runoff from the site. Um, a fair amount of runoff from the roof and the parking lot and it all ends up in this stormwater pond where it's treated and the sediments and stuff fall out of it before it's released. Probably have a little bit of everything civil-wise in this site. We have sewer, sanitary sewer, we have storm sewer, uh, we have water mains, we have parking lots to construct, streets to construct, curb and gutters, pavements, just about everything a civil engineer could need or want in a site is, is in this site. Hi, I'm Mike Fish. I work for WSN. Um, I was hired about 22 years ago to, to head up the Mills Fleet Farm projects. So from start to finish, I move onto the site. Um, we start clearing and get ready for everybody coming in. There's typically a 25 to 35 prime contractors that I'm responsible to make sure they're doing what they need to do the way we want it done and to try and coordinate between all the trades and our people in the office and our survey crews, uh, city officials, county officials, state officials, as the case may be. And hopefully within about a year's time, we got a fleet farm turning the keys over to a happy customer. <music>